no idea what's going on here. Um, but yeah, um, currently right now the Ohio State Wisconsin game is going on in the you know, on the other side of my screen here. I am on the left side. The Ohio State game is going on on the right. Um, let me make sure I turn my volume down so I don't get fined or anything like that. Um, but the top four, we don't know who's going to be number one in the morning, but the top four teams are set. Thankfully, Wisconsin loses to is losing to Ohio State right now as I'm, as I'm recording this, and there's about a minute and a half left in the game. Uh, but the top four is going to be LSU, Ohio State. Now, it's debatable which one is one and which one is two. Um, Clemson easily is going to be at number three. And Oklahoma slides into number four. Now, let's see how we got here to this point. Um, first off, the Pac-12 championship on Friday night. For some reason, uh, we won't really talk about this much, but for some reason, the MAC championship wasn't on Friday. It was just the Pac-12 championship. Um, Friday night, Utah was coming in reeling high. Uh, they needed a big victory, but Oregon stomped them in the mouth. Verdell, C.J. Verdell with some big, huge runs. Uh, Justin Herbert with some nice throws and everything like that. And Oregon is going to the pack, is going to the Rose Bowl. They easily dispatch Utah. Thus, Utah is out. There's no way a two loss team can make it um, at all um, to the playoff. Just, it's just not going to happen. Utah's strike the schedule. It, even though it is higher to Clemson and everything like that, I believe. Um, but they have two losses now. Out. Uh, but then we, you know, Saturday comes around. Uh, talk about this real quick. The Sun Belt Championship, Appalachian State beats Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns. Uh, I believe it was like 45 to 38. But Appalachian State had the game easily wrapped up in like the first half. It was like a 35 like 10 game in the first half and Louisiana keeps storming back. Uh, but they kept the game, you know, easy peasy and lemon squeezy uh, as far as that goes. Um, so, you know, um, then we had the big 12 championship. Now, one of these two, now one of these two teams was going to win this game, Baylor or Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Got it. Got enough in the end. Now, let me tell you something. This was insane. Um, Zeno came in for Baylor, started balling out. Bohannon came in, started balling out for Baylor. We know it's a couple of freaky deaky passes for Baylor for uh, Bohannon anyway. And, and then Zeno came in and started slinging dimes down the field, and it was it was at this point when the two backups came in that Baylor's offense came to life against Oklahoma's defense. And But Oklahoma did just enough at the very end, just enough to get there. I don't even, I don't even think Jalen Hurts threw a touchdown in this game. That was how interesting that was. And the side note here to the MAC championship, uh, Miami of Ohio wins the MAC championship or Jim, Jim McElwain's Central Michigan Chippewas. Um, so, um, obviously, you know, the other results of the conference championships mean one thing. Uh, first thing is that Oklahoma is in. Baylor with two losses out. Appalachian State is probably going to the New Orleans Bowl. I don't know where the MAC champion goes um, because the bowl tie-ins are dumb for the MAC. Uh, same thing with the Conference USA, which was in like in between the other three games where FAU just absolutely blew out UAB, destroyed them, and Lane Kiffin is gone. He is leaving Florida Atlantic, and he is going, guess where, to Ole Miss, the same Ole Miss that did the piss celebration on the field in the Egg Bowl. Um, then we get to the 330 slate, and it was... One hell of a game once again. 
in the American Athletic Conference Championship. Memphis, Cincinnati, two teams that, you know, have been fighting for, along with the rest of the American for, you know, that, that inclusion with the rest of the Power Five and stuff like that. What a game it was. Another wild, crazy game that came down to the very end. Memphis, congrats. You are going to the Cotton Bowl. You will get to play somebody. Who knows who it's going to be, but it's going to be without Mike Norvell, though. Norvell, he is gone to Florida State. Crazy times are ahead. Um, at the same time, we got the SEC Championship, where LSU just went off on Georgia. Jake Fromm was battered. Most of Georgia's players were getting battered and bruised out on the field, and it was a terrible, terrible time, let me tell you that, for Georgia. And thus, LSU firmly punched their ticket. Joe Burrow is getting the Heisman. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. Joe Burrow, Heisman. SEC Championship, Heisman, could he add a natty to it? Could he add a mythical national championship to the – yes, I said mythical. You know you know that, it, that the NCAA has zero to do with the college football playoff. That's a story for another day. Um, but at the same time that Georgia was getting beat down, um, the final score was 37-10 to 10 LSU. Same time Georgia was getting beat up, um, the Mountain West Championship was happening, and – Boise State easily beats Hawaii 31 to 10. And Boise State, unfortunately, you're not going to the Cotton Bowl. You will probably play Chris Peterson and the retiring Chris Peterson. He's stepping down due to some reason or some something like that. Um, but he's leaving Washington, leaving, and he's staying like he's staying around in like some sub role, but for the most part, he is Time as a Washington Huskies head coach is done. Um, but anyway, Boise will be playing in the Las Vegas Bowl December 21st, along with the New Orleans Bowl. And one more bowl game, and I'm going to preview and maybe watch Well, I am going to watch it, uh, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but yeah, Boise State, all that adversity, once again, finds a way to get the 12 wins, finds a way to won another conference championship in the Mountain West. Um, at the same time these games were going out, over, there was the SWAC championship, the HBCUs and stuff. There was a lot of turnovers on Southern side against Alcorn State, down at the reservation down at the Alcorn, um, Alcorn Stadium in Mississippi. Forget the city name, but it's down in Mississippi. They play the like, games that they play the SWAT championship games at the you know the team's um, home field now. So, but lots of turnovers by Southern in this game and Alcorn State. I caught the very end of that game and uh, once Skelton, that Southern's quarterback, he threw the ball straight to an Alcorn player and he took it. All the way back for a pick six. And thus, Alcorn State will take on North Carolina a and in the Celebration Bowl to start the bowl season on December the 21st. And we will talk about that game um, probably Tuesday. Uh, Monday, I'm not going to be in my apartment. I will be gone the entire day. I have to be gone the entire day. Um, the um, Ohio State game is ending now. Five seconds left of that game. It's on it's on my screen. So, you know, it is what it is. But the SWAC goes to Alcorn. 39-24 was the final there. Um, finally, of course, the Big Ten Championship is on right now. Um, and the ACC Championship, where Clemson was a heavy favorite, and they just beat up Virginia, just beat them down easily. It was like last time I checked, it was 55 to 17. And of course, you know, Trevor Lawrence and company did what they needed to do up there. So they are in. And lastly, the game that is still going on right now, or rather, it is just now ended, I believe. It was a, there was a, 
uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the field right now. The game's over in the Big Ten Championship. And thus, Ohio State comes back from a 14-point deficit easily. And they they just did what they needed to do against Wisconsin. You know, Jack Cohn and Jonathan Taylor had it for a while. But then once Justin Fields, J.K. Dobbins, and that Ohio State defense led by Chase Young started rolling, they went off, scored a bunch of points, like 34 straight points in this game. And it was a crazy, crazy time. So, and yeah, so that's that's it. All the championship games are now over. It is 11 o'clock at night here, midnight on the East Coast. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a fun time. Let me tell you. Um, tomorrow we got the you know the reveal. And it'll be a four-hour thing. Who knows how long that... Well, it's going to be four hours, so... Um, but we do know who the top four are. It is going to be Ohio State, LSU, one or two. It depends on what the committee thinks. It will be either LSU one or Ohio State one. And the number two team would have to take on Clemson. Number one would have to take on Oklahoma. I firmly believe that Oklahoma... It's going to be locked in at the fourth spot, and I firmly believe that Clemson will be number three. So, let's see. Let's get out of this here. Um, but, yeah, that is going to do it tonight, y'all. We did it. Conference Championship Week is over. We made it all the way through the end of the season, for the most part. We're not done yet. We still got a couple more games. We still got a game left. Now, you know what game that is. And we'll be talking about it probably in between the um, the Sunday games and stuff like that. But, yeah, conference championship week is now over. 11 games were contested. And of all 11 games. And we'll see what the top. Where all the bowls are lined up, we're hoping. The FBS teams that can go to a bowl game that aren't Liberty can go. We're hoping that, that a MAC team won't get left out or a Conference USA team. So, yeah, it's going to do it tonight, y'all. Stuck around with me for a long ride. We have one more week to go before both is going to Las Vegas. Um, Boise State's going to Vegas. New Orleans. And I mostly watched the game. Games on Saturdays for bowls, so... Uh, Except for the New Year's Six, except for the New Year's No, sir. Uh, the other bowls, no, sir. No, sir. You can't do that. Uh, but yeah, it's going to do it. We'll see y'all tomorrow.